Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about SIP function in the Python programming language. So let's consider an example of a university record. Let's consider um, that the names, age and grades of the students have been stored um, in separate lists as you can see here. Right? So here is a list for name, here is a list for age, here is a list for grade. But what I want is that I want to create another list which stores tuples where each tuples belongs to a single student i mean to say that i want to make some tuples where each tuple is like this the name age and then the grade like this right so this is what i want to generate from this data right so let's consider how we can do this using the zip function okay so you can just do it like this for x in zip and then you have to just pass the name of the list so it is name age and grade so what is going to happen now is that zip function will create an iterator and that iterator will return each time a tuple which will be containing the corresponding elements of each list like this nick 19a rob 20b sam 18a right so let's just print it to understand if it is working as i am telling you or not so look at that as you can see right so there is a tuple for every student so this is how you can achieve this using the zip function so basically the zip function is uh, just taking out the elements from each list and providing you as a tuple so this is how it is done okay so this was a pretty useful example to understand uh, how zip works but now let me discuss another example which may be a bit complex so consider you are given a two dimensional list like this so you have a list 1 as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and now you want to do the same thing with this list that is you want to create tuples like 1, 5, 9 then 2, 6, 10 and so on right so how we can achieve this now so for doing this you will need to make small changes in your program so for x in zip you will have to provide an asterisk so what will asterisk do is that it will break my complete list into sub lists so it will become like this is a single list 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 is another list and 9 10 11 12 is another list so this is how it will work so i'm just going to pass um, my list like this before um, with an asterisk and then if i try to print x let's see the result so look at that you get the desired result 159 the first column then 2610 then 3711 and then 4812 so this is how you can use zip function in python programming language to do these kind of stuff and i hope it was clear so that's it from this video thanks for watching